Near the summit, we once again encountered big butt prints. <gasps> These butt tracks are still warm, and they lead right into that icy cave. As I approached the lair of the enigmatic, large, high-need creature, I felt the heroic tension of this about-to-happen groundbreaking moment, a colliding of worlds, as it were. Hey, baboon, I'm about to get profound. Come on over and enjoy it with me. I am on the cusp of dramatic discovery, on par with Edison and his light bulb, and Einstein when he discovered the chalk he had lost and wrote E equals MC squared with it. I gaze into ye, O oh icy cavern, yet another of the universe's mysteries to be felled by the shiny axe of science. Baboon, don't you want to share this magic moment with me? <laughs> I have been too cold to sharing nothing magic. Well, why is that snowman wearing your coat? Because he's looking so cold, I am feeling sorry for him. Quick, toss me my camera. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Camera ready. I entered the lair of the legendary Big Butt. Ooh! Surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Big Butt? You're not Big Butt. <laughs> He's too kind. I'm ready for some pictures to be taken of me so I can be famous. Come on, film my melon. <laughs> I am very disappointed that this whole thing is a hoax, perpetrated by a tubby, red, pantsless fraud. Ubby? Why? Why did you do this? I did it all to get a little attention! Is that a crime? My papa was Bigfoot. He got lots of attention! Then one day, he went out for milk when I was nine, and he never came back! <laughs> I have someone I want you to meet. Papa? Oh, Papa! I'm so happy! Oh, I can't believe it's you! So did you get the milk? That's almost a touching moment. Well, Baboon, looks like another legend is a fraud. Let's go to Scotland and search for that Loch Ness Monster and see if that's real.